I need a second to process what I just saw because there I all right, so we're here to react to the Myriad Celestia trailer of Acheron. And for those of you who are new to the channel, my name is MG. I've been playing Honkai Impact for more than six years now. Uh, I've also been playing Honkai Star Rail, and I've been playing it since day one of release. So I guess you could say I'm a player of both games. Anyway, let's just jump right into it. I'm really excited about this video because in the previous video they released, the uh, Rondo something Endless Kalpas video, <laughs> the animated short, and in the dev stream, they actually heavily reference Honkai Impact. And so I'm thinking they're going to have a lot of references here as people are anticipating, and I guess we'll find out. Wait, this... <laughs> the guy sounds kind of familiar. So we saw this in the description of the previous video. Okay. Wait a minute. No way. The next one's thunder? No, no, no. Okay, hold up. <laughs> hold up. All right, so people were actually made that anticipation, or like they made that link. They said, "Oh, the Honkai is explicitly in, um, referenced in that description thing in the previous video." And I thought it was kind of copium, despite being a Honkai Impact player. Yes, twelve Sentinels and twelve Divine Keys sounds kind of like too on the nose, but the fact that they revealed Truth to be the first one, so the Hasha of Truth, uh, which was originally the Hasha of Reason, was the first, um, like of. Let's, let's just simplify it and say like the divine keys, right? So reason, void, um, lightning, or thunder actually, wind, ice, rebirth, uh, rebirth, which also was known as death for the longest time, fire, which was also flame scion, sentience, stars, domination, binding, and corruption. And then of course, the hash of thunder, who was right in May, became the hash of origin, and then Kiana became the hash of finality. So we already have three out of the 12. And uh, <laughs> if they're going to hit all 12 of them, I'm going to lose my mind for sure. This is kind of crazy. Also, because I don't I don't really want to go back, but I'm going to go back for a bit. The way of the law and creates miracles for de deconstruction of all things. That is the exact thing that Dihash of Reason does. It can reconstruct anything. If you know the core mechanics of how it works, you can make stuff out of nothing. And they're they're kind of like giving the exact powers, and then um, if we switch over ten, which is um, okay, give me the Japanese sub. So ten also read as Sora, which is which means sky, was the original word they used. Actually, it is still the current word they use for the Hasha of the Void. Um, who is the second Hasha in Japanese. And so initially, I thought she was called the Hasha of the Sky. And I, I, that's what I called her because I used to play JP, which was a year ahead of SEA. And so this is a direct reference. Also, the portals are the exact same portals as the Hasha of the Voids. So this is kind of trippy. And we'll see if it follows the order. <laughs> Okay. And then this is a reference to Genshin Impact. Killing a... Wind, okay. Here we go. Uh-huh. Ice. Frost, sure. Death and Rebirth. Oh my god. And then Flames. <laughs> oh, they're, they're, we're going fast now. Okay. Wait, sorry. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I'm pausing so much. I don't usually do reacts, but I I, I just need to know. So okay, flare. That's correct. Uh, fire, and then eight is sentience. Well, fought. I guess it's pretty much the same thing. Um, and what was the next one? Root. So, stars also is the hash of Earth, essentially, like meteors and stuff. Uh, and this looks like a pretty stony sword, so I guess that that counts. And what was this one? Wait, bind is already far off. Form. I don't know if I'd say form is uh, domination, but I I guess. But look at like the the that many like. It is a reference to uh, the Tenth Divine Key because in Honkai Impact they forge multiple Tenth Divine Keys, um, and and so this is a direct reference to how many they actually forged. It also is the it was kind of known as the Hasha of Legion, so them having this many is a direct reference for sure, for sure. And then form. Wait a minute. Oh wait. Binding, there we go. I, th I got ahead of the... So bind is exactly the hash of binding. And then maw, I guess, from the way the blade looks, it is probably corruption. So this is insane. Yo, the voice acting is crazy. No way! No way! <laughs> Come on, dude! Okay? Okay, this is where it deviates, though. Because it wasn't this case of, like, Origin is the ultimate savior kind of deal. It was way more than that. Damn! Oh, so that that thing, the uneven horns. Wait, is she really that powerful? Oh, this is definitely outside of Honkai Impact references already. This is back to Honkai Star Rail. No way. So she... I guess she is a self-annihilator, which means she probably is an emanator of uh, Nihility. And that black hole, it. I don't know what to think of that because. Yo, yo, this is kind of nuts. <laughs> I need a second to process what I just saw because there, I. I don't usually do react videos, and if you've seen me react to videos, I'm usually very calm. Um, I am surprised with how, like, into the content I am right now. It might just be after years of me, you know, being a content creator, like, I become more emotionally attached to stuff. But I think it, I think, I think I, I, I'd like to touch on, like, how being a Honkai Impact player, I, I have been a little bit afraid of trying to look at things like publicly from the um, lens of a Honkai Impact player because I, I feel like some people, rightfully so, who, who, who only play Honkai Star Rail might feel alienated by, by people who like keep going on about Honkai Impact and like and, and I, I'd like to just like mention that at least for me and I think like most of the Honkai community it's just like a lot of excitement because it, we've been playing Honkai Impact for a long time and you know seeing 
the other the other Honkai title kind of referencing the game that you're so familiar with. It, there, there's just a sense of nostalgia and familiarity. But some people I've seen online um, have gotten offended by by you know um, comments of like clearly Honkai Impact players because. I think they feel like they're getting alienated. Like, oh, I don't know the source material. I feel like I'm not part of this conversation. And I get that. And and it's fair that you think that way. And um, I, as a Hong Kong back player, I try not to do that. But um, I would also like to say, I might have said it at the start of the video, I don't know, but like I started playing Honkai Impact because they clearly stated that Welt Yang in Honkai Star Rail, sorry, did I say Honkai Impact? I, I started playing Honkai Star Rail because they clearly stated that Vault Young in Honkai Star Rail is the exact same Vault Young as the one from Honkai Impact. Now, the time between him leaving Honkai Impact and coming to Honkai Star Rail is like a gap, right? We don't know what happened then. Um, as of the current timeline in Honkai Impact, he's actually still in the Honkai Impact world. Um, so we haven't even got to that point in time yet. But... Um, he is already in Star Rail, so that probably means there is this like kind of time skip, and Star Rail is kind of like a look in the future of even the Honkai Impact world, or I don't know, I don't know what happened, which it's all up to spec, uh, all up for speculation, and so it's just really exciting to see so much of Honkai Impact reference. I don't know what this means, to be honest. I don't know what they're cooking. <laughs> I like. <sighs> There's just so much to uh, process here. Like, why would they choose the exact twelve um, types? Or I don't, I don't think they count as elements because, like, binding and all that is not. But it is so weird that they reference Honkai Impact in this way. Also, can I really, can I say, like, it's so cool that they're all blades? Like, I would, I would play this version of. Um, of Honkai Impact or whatever it is they're gonna call this game if they ever make one because it feels like I'm a big fan of like Dynasty Warriors games and I play like One Piece Musou so <laughs> if they if they made like a hack and slash version with like the ability to use all the 12 different swords to run around and like slash people in Izumo I, I would be so down I would buy that game in an instant but <laughs> but you know um, coming back to this point I, I just want to touch on uh, some things that that I find really peculiar. I think I pause way too much when they're reviewing these, but uh, <laughs> it is what it is. My excitement got the better of me. There, it's funny how they're doing some references um, to Genshin Impact as well. Like for for the snake here, I think in Genshin Impact, like right in right in A, right in Shogun, actually slays a snake with her. Uh, Muso no Hitotachi or something like that. I think it's like her ultimate skill that like kind of like kills anyone in one slash. Um, she slayed a snake, like a giant snake being, um, and then you can go to that gorge in Genshin Impact itself. I play Genshin Impact. I've been playing since day one, but I'm kind of like not super well versed with the lore of Genshin. So, so if I'm wrong with that, please correct me. But I'm pretty sure it's a reference to Genshin as well. And then. I think this is a reference to actually to Locke, which is, which um funny enough, the the sword is going right through to Locke's uh, chest and um sorry, not to Locke, like this being's chest. And funny enough because in the uh, Cyber Angel video where Branya becomes the Hash of Reason, she actually aims for the chest of this this giant half half uh I guess you would say bust up a <laughs> monster of Taloc and uh, funny enough Taloc also doesn't really have like half a face and what happens there though is she actually blows off his face instead of his chest because um, Taloc kind of like bends forward and then as Branya is doing her ride on like mo her motorbike just like goes straight through the head and the head just like boom is gone so it's a funny reference <laughs> i i feel like i got that reference pretty quickly which is which is which is kind of amusing and then they're also doing this like multiple void holes like opening which is if you've watched uh will of the hasha that thing has like 62 million views so i'm i'm guessing anyone who who happens to be watching this video has seen that video and um it, it, it basically is like how the hash of the void kind of uses her powers 
And then, um, I guess the powers are a reference to what the Honkai counterparts can do as well. And I feel like why they didn't go into detail with the rest of them is because they're kind of straightforward, right? Like, wind is wind. What, what, like, what do you expect wind to be able to do? Like, summon tornadoes and stuff. Here, though, they reference the Sakura tree, and it's it's funny because I remember it too. Yeah, so it's right after the Ice Sword, which is a direct reference to Yai Sakura from Honkai Impact because there is this battle suit called Goshinsu Memento, and she uses an Ice Sword called Ice Epiphilim, and um, then <laughs> it's a it's a it's a it's a really sad story. I don't know if we want to go into it, but basically there is this thing where her little sister dies. Spoiler alert! But this like for them like zooming into like the Sakura tree is really a direct reference to Yai Sakura, which is man, this is so insane. And then uh, rebirth and death. It's not so straightforward, but it kind of is in Honkai Impact. And then, um, yeah, all the other powers, I, I guess we could do a, like a bit of an explanation. Like flames is, is basically, you know, some a flame wielder who can like use flames to the extreme. Um, so then sentience or like truth, uh, uh, not truth. What, what did they go for with this one? Thought. Um, she can basically read people's minds. She can... Um, I, I, yeah, it's, it's kind of like read people's minds. You can delve into people's like inner consciousness and stuff like that. So that's pretty much the same thing. And then Root um, is a reference to like stars, which is Earth. And then I said earlier, um, Form is the Hasha of Domination, which was also known as the Legion Hasha, which, you know, there's so much in the lore where it's like just multiple copies of them. And so they're doing the same thing, obvious reference. And then they're doing it with Bind. Binding was extremely OP because, um, as you know, in Honkai Impact, they use Honkai Energy. And so the Hasha of Binding actually has the ability to, um, like, within its range, prevent people from using their Honkai powers. So it is, like, extremely powerful in the lore of Honkai Impact. Obviously here, they just give it, like, less than a second. <laughs> and then Ma. Um, also, actually, like, each of these powers in Honkai Impact were shown to the extreme. Um, and so it, what they are doing in this 4-minute video is just, like, compressing insane lore into just these, like, swords. And I, I like the way they simplify it. Um, and, and just turn it into these swords, and then obviously these swords fail to, to take down the, uh, the, the Kami. And so they... <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're just going crazy with this. Like, I I feel like a lot of it is just like, here you go, here are these names, here are these types, and uh, this this is what happened in Izumo. Uh, how we got there and why why these happened doesn't matter. We're just giving you Honkai Impact players the references that you've wanted. And honestly, I like it. I like it. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's crazy. I've... Yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I've never really reacted to stuff. Uh, my reactions in the past were a lot more mellow, but I, I, like I said, you know, like seeing the game or the core reason I played Honkai Star Rail 4 uh, being kind of like, um, you know, I, I guess like Hoyoverse giving us this kind of like fan service is, is really exciting. And I feel like I don't know if people like when, when people reacting to videos, like keep pausing, but I personally try not to, but I just got so excited this time. So it, it's new to me as well. But uh, yeah, let me know if you would like to see more Honkai Impact or like Honkai Star Rail reactions. And uh, I, I definitely will do them. And also I... Sorry, my mic is... And also I kind of realized something. Uh, let me just take this off. And at, at some point in the uh, trailer, I think it was here. I kind of noticed the the... The, uh, but there's just so much going on, I couldn't talk about it. But they, they, the music is actually the music from um, Honkai, the uh, Lament of the Fallen from Honkai Impact animated short as well. Ooh, okay, okay, um, not here. Where did it? That, that part, and I think like most of the video actually. Actually at the very start. Oh, 
遠い昔八百万年の神の子ルテンスル生徒死そしてレッツ各石杖千足十二船の刀を使いまいがばつんせいそれらすべてが折れるまで and then that happens. Okay, so right before we end the video, I, I just wanted to come back and, and actually look at the tweet because I remembered this. Um, so the, the title of the Myriad Celestial trailer in Japanese is Kyoden Ukyo Sanzen Ito Ryodan. So right here it says Ito Ryodan. And um, right in May, in Honkai Impact, when she does her finisher as the Hasha of Thunder, she actually says this exact line. <laughs> And then I also noticed another thing is that um, the voice actor for, uh, what's his name again? Kevin Kazlana, there we go. <laughs> uh, Hino Satoshi actually plays white haired Oni. So we didn't get to see like a white haired Oni in the, the, the video, but I, they, they did say like the Oni is like when humanity, like when the humans like eventually fell and they became uh, Oni. And so I'm guessing, like with the with I I don't know if they're gonna expand more on Izumo's story in the later updates, but I feel like most of the lore is gonna be in this one video, and they're just give, doing it as like a fan service for the Honkai Impact third players. But essentially, what happened in Honkai Impact is um, Kevin did the hero move of like absorbing a lot of the powers into him, so the so the uh, the girls the Valkyries could could. To kind of like defeat him and then take the power from him uh, and um, you know eventually like sort of like defeat the Honkai in that sense and so in the video Origin defeats End uh, and, and and if he is the white haired Oni I'm guessing because of this one flashback from the um, animated short it seems like he might have been like this master to Acheron and that's probably the relationship they shared and you know he does the hero move again he absorbs all the power of the oni into the sword of the end and she probably just like they they fight and then she kills him and kind of like puts an end to the crisis of izumo but of course there's one more layer to her story and that's like nihility was kind of like looming over them and she became she gave in because everyone and everything she knew is already dead and destroyed and probably then she became the emanator an emanator of nihility and I find that to be kind of weird too, because essentially from reading about Nihility, the Eon of, of Nihility in Honkai Star Rail, they always describe um, the Eon as aloof and kind of like just doesn't care about anything, just want to stay in their own void corner of the universe and like not really care. But this seems like, I I'm just going to call him X. Some people thought like the IX is like 9, but um, I'm just going to say X. And let me know how you pronounce it. Um, but I, it's weird because then they're kind of showing that X actually does step into to like meddle with what people do. So that is a weird lore bit for Honkai Star Rail itself. So let me know what you think about that as well. And yeah, so then true to form, uh, Sarashiro Miyuki plays the voice for uh, Akiron. And if you're wondering, her Japanese name is Yomi. Um, so yeah, that's all I thought I wanted to add in. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more reactions, uh, let me know in the comments down below as well. Until then, my name is MG, and I will see you guys soon. Bye bye